Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, introduction to three different ideas. So, I'm going to talk about the idea of dimension. And then, I will talk about what is row space. And finally, I will talk about column space. Um, so, uh, let's start off with the idea of dimension. Here, if S is a subspace of um, a vector space of real numbers with n dimension, then the number of vectors in the basis for S is called the dimension of S, and it is denoted by this notation here. So basically, well, the idea is you already know what is a vector space. So let's say that this is your vector space. And we know that in order to be a vector space, it needs to fulfill 10 axioms. And of course, in this vector space, we can have a possible subspace. So this could be an example of subspace. We could have another subspace and so on. So let's say this uh, subspace here. So this is subspace S. Um, so I'm going to call this um, subspace S. And this subspace S here uh, is a subspace if it fulfills 3 out of 10 axioms. And those things have already been discussed um, during our face-to-face -face lecture. Well, once you have managed to demonstrate that it is indeed a subspace, then what you need to go on and think is, can you show that um, it spans vector space? Can you do this? And the second condition is, can you show that it is uh, linearly independent? So these are the two conditions in order for the subspace to be called basis. So if you manage to show the two conditions are true, so here is yes and here is no, therefore um, we are going to move to this uh, definition here. This is the definition of basis, therefore we can say that it is a basis um, of that particular vector space. So here is a basis and you can ask what is the number of vectors in this basis? So number of vectors, this is uh, equal to the dimension of subspace S. This is this guy over here. Okay, so the number of vectors here is related to the dimension of subspace S. And this is just a simple example here. And those, those two examples here are based on the previous um, topic that you have seen related to basis of a vector space and here this is an example of basis so as here is a basis in this vector space and therefore you can see how many vectors are there we have two vectors because of that the dimension of s is equal to two very simple idea okay um, similarly here is an example of basis in this vector space so this is the vector space of real number here we have got like three dimensions so three components and um, we can see that here we've got three vectors therefore the dimension for this um, subspace s is equal to three so we have three vectors the dimension is three all right um let's move on to the idea of uh, row space and column space so first of all is, what is row space? Basically, we can think about row space of a matrix. So here A is a matrix. A is a M by N matrix. So when you ask about the row space of a matrix, um, in other words, this is equal to uh, what is known as subspace of the vector space uh, in N dimension. So in other words, uh, it is equal to the space spanned by the rows of matrix A. 
So remember what is A? A is uh, M by N matrix. That means uh, our A is going to look like this. M by N means we have 1, 2, M rows. 1, 2, N columns. So therefore, when you talk about the row space of A, you are actually talking about the space that is spent by the rows. So you're considering all the rows given in matrix A. So that's the idea. Now, what is the idea of a column space? Well, the column space of A is the subspace, uh, also known as column of A. So this is just the notation. So that means row space of A can be represented simply as row A. This is just a notation. Well, similarly for the column space of A, so column space of A can be um, simply denoted as column of matrix A. So the idea is similar. So here we are talking about having subspace of this vector space, uh, real numbers with n dimension. And this is equal to the space spanned by the, of course, we're going to replace rows with columns. We're talking about columns now. Columns of matrix A. So basically, we are going to focus on each uh, given column in this particular matrix. And I think in order to illustrate this uh, idea, we are going to jump straight into some simple examples. So here's a matrix A. Uh, clearly, we can say uh, M is equal to 3. We have 3 rows and N is our column. So column is equal to 2. This is a 3 by 2 matrix. So find the column space of A. Um, well, the column space of A, according to the definition, so column of A is equal to actually the space spanned by columns of A, which means that you are talking about span of this column and this column, which is uh, 1, 0, 3, and then we have negative 1, 1, negative 3. So this is the answer to the first question. So the second question is uh, to determine whether this vector here is in the column space of A. Now, in order to show that something here is in the column space of A, we need to be able to express this guy here in terms of linear combination of these two vectors here. And in order to do that, we need to be able to find the constants. So that's what we're going to do. Mm. So therefore, we need to be able to express or uh, to find all the values of C1 related to the first factor, 1, 0, 3. So this factor here comes from this part. And then, plus, are there another constant, C2, uh, related to this factor, negative 1, 1, negative 3, such that the result here will give vector B. So vector B is this guy here, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and in order to solve this uh, problem, we can uh, consider augmented matrix. So here we're going to combine all the values. Okay. And uh, we're going to consider elementary row operations and we're going to try and reduce all this matrix to its simplest form. Okay. So what we can do next is uh, I can, for example, focus on this part because this is okay. We have uh, one here as the leading one for the first row. Here is the leading one for the second row. So therefore, this one here has to be turned to zero. And how to turn that? We are going to consider this operation of three plus negative three times with the first row. So one negative one. 1, 0, 1, and 2. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 
3 minus 3 is also 0. And I think uh, this is already uh, quite simple. And we can see from this result here that for this one, uh, it is 0 times C1 plus 1 times C2 is equal to 2, yeah? Therefore, uh, C2 is equal to 2. So that's the answer for the constant that we're looking for. Um, next, based on this, we have um, clearly C1 minus C2 is equal to 1. C1 is 1 plus C2. This is equal to 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. Uh, so we can say that since we have the result here, which is 3, 1, 0, 3, plus 2, negative 1, 1, negative 3, is equal to the value of factor B, 1, 2, 3. Uh, therefore, um, we can say that vector B, which is 1, 2, 3, is in column space of matrix A. So that's the answer for that uh, question. Right, now we're going to move on to the last uh, question, which is this one. Determine whether this uh, vector here, W, is in the row space of A. So what it means really is, can you find a linear combination um, such that the result is vector W? So linear combination of the row space of A. So what is row space of A? So row space of A is just a space that is spanned by rows of A. So that's the definition. And we know that it will include each and every row of matrix A. So therefore, we are going to consider this factor, first factor, second vector, and the third vector. So this is uh, the row space of A and you are asked to demonstrate that this vector here is in the row space of A. So basically, you are asked to try and find out if we could possibly express 4 and 5 here in terms of C1 times with this vector. Okay, so here we have um, 1 and negative 1. And then uh, plus C2, 0 and 1, plus C3, 3 and negative 3. So, so that's the idea. Okay, uh, and in order to do that, because we are... Um, focusing on row space instead of column space. So we are focusing on um, this kind of uh, representation. So what we can do is we can easily solve this problem if you consider this approach, okay? So I'm just going to uh, erase this part first. Well, in order to do that for this question here, what you need to do is you need to consider what we call the uh, form of combining matrix A with uh, mat vector W here. So this is what you need to consider first. How can you combine these two together? So we can consider the process of combining those matrix negative 1, 0, 1, 3, negative 3 and here is 4 and 5. And uh, you need to apply the usual elementary row operation so that the matrix here is reduced to the simplest form. So when you apply the ERO, you do not uh, change anything on the last row here. So this is the last row. So the, the process of um, having this elementary row operations will only be done for the first row, second row and third row. So do not touch anything. Uh, on the last row here, okay? Well, 
So now what we can do is, again, you can see that we already have the leading one here on the first row and this is already okay. So we need to turn this number here into zero. So what we have is we're going to consider the process of turning number three into zero. So here we have uh, our three plus negative three are one. And here we will have one, negative one, zero, one, three, minus three, zero, negative three, plus three is zero. And here we have four and five. Okay. Next, uh, what we can do is we are going to consider um, the fact that here is well, we have C1, 1 times C1 plus 0 times C2 plus 0 times C3 is equal to 4. And therefore, uh, C1 is equal to 4. So that is the uh, answer for the first constant that we are looking for here. So C1 is equal to 4. Next, um, we can, well, Consider this part here. Here it, we have negative 1 C1 plus 1 C2 plus 0 C3 is equal to 5. Therefore, negative uh, C1 plus C2 is equal to 5. C2 is 5 plus C1, which is just 5 plus 4. And this is equal to 9. Okay. So we've got C2 is equal to 9 and therefore we can say that the value of C3 must be equal to 0. Well, we can try and see whether that combination makes sense or not. So here we need to, to try and see whether we need to check basically whether all the values here make sense and able to get this uh, vector given here. So what we have is, well, we're going to check C1 with 1, negative 1, plus C2 with 0, 1, plus C3 with um, 3, negative 3. What, what is the result? So here we have C1 is 4, 1, negative 1, plus C2 is 9, 0, and 1 plus 0, 3, negative 3. And this becomes, well, 4, negative 4, plus 0 and 9. So this one here becomes 0. So I'm just going to ignore that. Next, uh, what happened when you add these uh, two together? So here we got 4 and negative 4 plus 9, we get equal to 5. Therefore, uh, we have managed to demonstrate that indeed, this uh, vector here is in the row space of matrix A. Okay, I think uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.